CPU or Central Processing Unit. CPU is an abbreviation. This abbreviation stands as Central Processing Unit. This CPU or Central Processing Unit is essential or necessary parts of the computer. We call it the brain of computer. CPU is responsible or the basic function of the CPU in computer execute instruction or program perform calculation to perform calculation it uses arithmetic and logical operation based on the user instruction and command it executes instruction as well as perform calculation and manage the overall operation of the system you can think the cpu of it as a conductor of an orchestra it coordinates all different components like input output or any other ones to produce harmonious output or a result let's see the main feature or characteristics of cpu the first one which is speed speed of the cpu is measured in hertz or the unit of frequency as you know frequency equal to one over t frequency has inversely proportional to the time if the time is increased frequency is decreased if the time is decreased frequency is increased this determine how many instruction the cpu can process per second higher frequency means that the cpu speed is high or faster processing to execute instruction or to calculate any mathematical operation the other features of cpu car these are the individual processing unit within the cpu if there is more core in one computer can handle multiple tasks simultaneously we call it parallel processing this helps to improve the performance under performance we consider the computational time or the response time in order to execute and calculate any operation if the number of core is increased the performance of that computer is increased at the same time because it can execute multiple tasks parallelly or simultaneously so number of core help to increase the performance of one computer the other features of cpu catch catch is a small high speed memory storage area within the cpu a small indicators the capacity that stores the data is small but when we compare to other storage like main memory or ram and hard disk or secondary storage device catch have high speed memory storage area even if it store it's a very less amount of data or the size is small we can say catch is the part of the cpu it store frequently data allowing the cpu to access it quickly if you want use one data frequently in order to hit or access quickly without any time delay we store that data at catch memory catch memory it found between the primary memory or ram and a register the first features of cpu tdp or thermal design power this means that the amount of heat the cpu generates a higher thermal design power or tdp usually indicates more powerful of that computer or that cpu but hotter cpu which means that 
the heat of the CPU is increased. Parts of CPU or components of CPU. CPU composed several K components, but these K components is categorized into four. The first one, control unit. As the name indicates, it control the activity of central processing unit and other components of one computer. This part direct or control the operation of CPU and telling other components what to do. Or it give an instruction to other components of the computer what they do. This is the function of control unit. It directs or controls the operation of central processing unit as well as it give a direction to other components or input, output, and RAM what to do. The other parts or components of CPU are thematic and logic unit or ALU. Perform arithmetic and logic operation on the data. Arithmetic, as you have seen on the previous class, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus operation. Those we call arithmetic operation. Logical operation, and, or, XOR, not, nor, and any other one. That help to make comparison. So this arithmetic and logic unit is the parts of central processing unit or the components of central processing unit. The other parts or components of CPU register. These are high speed storage location within the CPU. Location within the CPU means that it's a part of the CPU. It have high speed storage when we compare this one to catch primary memory, secondary memory, and tertiary memory. It's function to store the currently executed instruction or data temporarily. So used to hold data temporarily. That data is executed by central processing unit. The fourth and last parts of CPU catch. As mentioned earlier, in the features of the CPU, this is a small, means that it can store only a small amount of data and high speed memory storage area. It's a part of memory that has high speed because it's a part of central processing unit and have a direct communication with CPU. Frequently used data by central processing unit stored at cache memory. These are the basic concepts of CPU.